screaming. This is the scene where the cream gets count. Don't be surprised. I took the scenic route. Built the pressure off a cold name. Like to drive them insane with patience. Cure a sickness with a cold game. What's the name? Just <laughs> cut a weather, baby. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Shanika here with Broke 2 Dope, and we are live with Cordell. What's up? What's up? So, for those who don't know you, can you just introduce yourself? I'm Cordell from Decatur, Georgia. Um, I'm an artist, songwriter, rapper, looking for features, looking for producers, you know. You ready? Just I'm growing, not. really. Oh, yeah. That's really what's want to up. Go Okay, so how did you get into music? Um, I really uh, was born into it, might as well say. Uh, my family had like a, a, a gospel thing. So the whole family had a little gospel thing going on. So and, uh, I just grew up in the rehearsal halls and uh, just picked up from there. And as I kept on moving up, I uh, branched off into the, to the rap and stuff. You know. How did your family feel about that? Uh, well, it's my father's side of the family, so I don't really, uh, I don't really be around them as often. You know? So they don't want to see music. They have, they have heard it, yeah. But you're right, they don't. <laughs> okay, so you have a cool sound going on here. Um, I'm getting some like nineties out of me going on. Tell me about this project, no, the No Guest List. Uh, no Guest List. It was just really derived from just basically just being away from. Uh, everything, just actually taking the time out to be like, okay, cool, it's time to actually get focused and get it right with, uh, with the music. Yeah. So I really just took the time out to just, uh, just isolate myself from everybody, everything, and then really like put all my experiences that I went through like within like the past year and past in this project. Okay, so when you listen to it, what do you have to take from it? Really just to have fun, you know, as the film of this track is. Um, I mean, if you've got some significant others, it's just really just, it's really a no guest list. So it's like, you know, it's just for you and that person who have you listen to you okay, like or that. you know, like, go by yourself. Okay, so now what do you have to come back next after this? Um, I'm actually working on a new project called uh, Okay. Yeah. So it's gonna be more like this is more like R and B, like rap. So this one's gonna be more the like bangers, more the stuff you wanna hear. And it's gonna also like uh, uh, have the R and B more than like R and B that you're talking about. Yeah. Right. So that's kind of how music is shifting anyway. You see the R and B and rap kind of coming together. Yeah. You got like right. long, heavy wild, and they're not they're rappers, but. Yeah, but it's so funny because like how they like got their own different language as well. So you know, that's why you're trying to have your own language. Be in addition to add into that, you know. That's what's up. So tell me, you know, Broke Stuff is really about artists um, who are on the grind, who are, you know, going. Some of them have really started trying to and now they're making their way to the top. Do you have a Broke Stuff moment? Uh, yeah, I actually uh, went through a couple periods. Of, you know, being homeless and everything. And then from so there, it was just like, all right, it's time to get my stuff together. So it went from there to be like, okay, I'm gonna just focus all on music, you know, just keep focused on it. And that's what the music helps you get through that? Definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah. That's it, So who are some people that inspire you? Um, right now, that was a tricky one. <laughs> Uh, I really, to be honest, really just been listening to myself, but I actually love The Weeknd's album. Okay. To be honest, I think he had one of the best albums this year. Okay, really? Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, um, uh, actually, to, I'm really handing out nominations in this interview. <laughs> uh, that and, um, so The Weeknd had the best album of this year. And then Young Dolph, to me, had the best, uh, like, street mixtape mm -hmm. this year. So, yeah, yeah, the, the High Class Street Music 5, yeah, that, mm -hmm. this year. Oh. That's what's up. So, you say you're from Decatur. How do you think Atlanta has kind of influenced this hip-hop culture? 
How you think Atlanta influence? I think Atlanta uh, is a big part. I mean, we're doing, we doing very well right now. Like, we're taking over, really. Um, and I wouldn't even want to say that because, like, everybody has their own thing, but, like, it's a, it's like a, a big domination. And it's not even just, like, because mostly some people see it as just, like, trap. But it's, like, branching off from trap to, to my lane to we got, like, different, like, artists like Rari and, uh, just a lot of different branches, so we got and, and still more coming. So right. we still got. That's because yeah, to go. Atlanta is everybody's different. Right. It's really it's kind of different subcultures, so that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where can everyone check out your music? Find you online. Uh, so you can find me on SoundCloud.com backslash Cordell the Third. That's C O R D E L E I I I. -I. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, it's re really the same. Uh, D Cordell, T H E C O R D E L E. Just trying to keep it simple mm -hmm. for the most part. And uh, yeah. What can they come to the stickers at? Are they in your cards? Yeah. Shout out to Hustle Fetish. Uh, it's my publisher and my uh, label. Oh, shout out to Sack World. Yeah, they, they coming up big on the east side. I forgot. Uh, I didn't really forget, but it was definitely one of those shout out moments I had to make sure I, I shout out. For real, they taking over the, uh, the east side, really. Um, and I'm really just coming up with them and just, just trying to help my, my whole side up. And I'm, I'm a really uh, proud Decatur dude, you know what I mean? Like, proud of my side, proud of my home, you feel me? So I'm really just trying to... Uh, Make sure everybody get their feet wet in that. But the stickers, uh, you can actually, you gotta just email me, really. Cordell, or email the booking, cordellmbooking at gmail.com. C O R D E L E M booking at gmail.com. Yeah. So, yeah. I wanna thank you for sitting with me, chatting, letting me know you a little bit better. And appreciate you yeah. Dude, it's your boy Three Z Cordell the Third. I'm here with Broke the Dope. You're watching us now, live. Shout out to the East Side Decatur, HF. It's like, well, send her, send her down to the south. Won't up, won't up, she's a loner. On a one way trip to Decatur, she can ride to a nigga vibes, 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 vibes.